All right, so I've got three things that I want to share out. The first is going to be a thank you. The second is going to be a grovel or a request for help. And the third is going to be why is this channel going offline for a few months? And why is that a good thing? It will be back. So let's start with the beginning. Um, first off, thank you to everyone who's been following, or even if you just like a single video that comes out of this, that you found it helpful and it has helped you to move on in what you were trying to do. That is incredible for me. That is what I love to do. Personally, I have a strong teaching ethic. It's just, I love to teach and share this information out there. Um, but I also just love diving headfirst into some technology and getting really creative, thinking outside the box, trying to come up with new ways of pushing through stuff. Quite often reinventing the wheel in the process. <laughs> but then taking that content and sharing it, I'm really sure that the majority of my audience, all of you, are the exact same way. Maybe mine is the teaching part, but really love diving headfirst into a technology, uh, figuring out how to do things outside the box, thinking creatively. Uh, if things, <laughs> video, video game programming is the ultimate video game to me. Um, normally video game design follows a standard pattern where if things are too complicated, users, players will get bored and want to leave that game project. Uh, if it's too boring, they will want to figure out ways to make it more complex, more interesting, uh, and it won't feel as slow. So for programming, you often find yourself uh, just, if you're doing a mundane task repetitively, you'll figure out a way to automate that. It, this, this is what drives us. Um, anyway, uh, so let's move on to begging. I am not going to grovel. Sorry. Uh, but I, I do want to ask you to hit the, um, what are they? The like, subscribe, and notification. Forget the like. That's, if you like this, great. I'm not going to ask for it. Um, but the, this, if you haven't noticed in my channel, I usually avoid asking for likes, notifications, and um, subscriptions. Um, I don't even remember the, that stuff very well. But the, uh, the reason that I do that is because I just want to get to the content. I want to get to the point right away and just get you there. That is what my video is, what my channel is all about. Um, so uh, anyway, I don't normally ask for that, but right now I am. See, I'm going away for a few months, and then when I come back, it's all going to be uh, – my, my voice on YouTube will have dropped. And YouTube's algorithm is not going to be sharing me out to you. It's not going to be sharing me out – I'm not going to be able to hit the ground running with this channel again and pick up where I left off. I'll have to rebuild. And I am looking forward. I, I would really, really like the help uh, to be able to keep this channel up and running while I'm away for a little while. Now on to the third topic. Why is this channel going down? Where am I going? What's, what's going on here? Why is this good? <laughs> okay. So I'm moving. I'm moving to Australia. This is something I am really excited about. I have been looking forward to this for a while. Um, there's been a lot of crazy developments along the way to actually going out there, things that we did not expect. But ultimately, this is a move we are all looking forward to. And it's, but <laughs> this, is, this is where some of the difficulties come in. I don't have a sound booth. I don't have a sound booth. I don't have green screens. Everything in here. I can do jumping jacks. You're not going to see me ever on this channel doing jumping jacks. And that is because, A, this is not an athletic channel. And, B, I'm usually locked inside of a sound booth that is five and a half feet wide and only six feet tall. So if I try doing something like that, I'm just going to hit my head. Anyway, um, but that also means that my recording equipment, my computer uh, that that has the capabilities of doing the development and recording at the same time and having high quality video and green screen and everything running at the same time. That's packed. That's shipped. This stuff is all gone. It's headed out to Australia now. Anyway, the uh, <laughs> so the estimates I've been getting and from a variety of places lead me to believe that. 
I will not have my stuff back until and set up until sometime between uh, September and December. So three to six months out there. It's actually like two to five months, um, but it's uh, I still have to get this stuff set up. It takes a while to get a sound booth and all the wiring and all the equipment and everything tuned and configured. And it takes a while. <laughs> well, at least it takes a while when you're building it piece by piece. I guess in this case, I'm rebuilding an existing sound booth. So maybe it'll be done in a weekend. I don't know. Um, but it's going to take me a little while to get that set up. And rather than try to get figure out how I can get more frames per second out of my laptop for the recordings, I'm just going to skip it. I did some tests on it and we're talking about single digit FPS for the recording quality while having Unity green, uh, well, not even having green screen, just having the webcam, just having uh, uh, Unity up and running while it's doing anything 3D and it was horrible. It was a terrible quality. and. I wasn't giving any justice to the content I was trying to create. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be building up content. And then once I actually have the sound booth again, I will, I'll start recording a bunch of stuff and getting it out there. And I am really looking forward to that. And back to the begging and thanks. Um, please hit the, um, the uh, subscribe button and the notification button. And also, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for paying attention to the channel, uh, finding it useful, and especially now actually hitting that subscribe and notification button. I really appreciate it. Thank you.